So welcome to an Origin of Energy lifestyle clip. So we've come down to Tralga and we're hanging up with Hugh again and Marty's with us and we've got the whole gang. So maybe scan around and see everyone. Hi guys. <laughs> so have heaps of fun today and um, we've just been helping out on the farm and trying to get some more stuff done for Hugh so we can um, be as productive as we can. And um, we've, we've got a lamb here. That's one of Hugh's lambs. And we've also got a chicken, and we've gone through the process of um, taking it from a live animal into a beautiful meal. And Marty's transformed the lamb over here, so Marty, if you want to. Talk so what we through. did today, obviously, we slaughtered the animal, and then we've, um, and then I deboned the centre part, so the shoulders, which were here, um, the neck, and then the midsection of the lamb, and I've actually put the shul uh, the four legs back in to the centre of the lamb because it was actually quite lean throughout the centre here and then we still obviously got the leg section here that we're going to it's a big rabbit. Yeah, it's a big rabbit. It looks like a rabbit <laughs> that we're going to cut on either side of the tailbone there and then I'll just take these bones out there and then we'll butterfly those on, on the barbecue rubbing them with some rosemary garlic and thyme and salt that we've chopped up finely um, and then I've just tied it with string but because we killed the animal today it's quite quite fresh so it's quite um, the, meat hasn't set yet. Yeah. the meat hasn't set yet so it is quite hard to sort yeah. of work with but that's the where the backbone was so that's your um, the saddle of lamb and um, and so we've just tied it up or I've tied it up and then I'm just going to tie it right around and then go loop it back through there so it's a nice tight little um, roast that we're going to roast on the barbecue and then we've also got all the offal from the lamb that we've um that we took out before. lamb chocolate is winning so <laughs> this is a lamb chocolate that's the liver and then the kidneys and this is a bit of, i think that's a bit of a heart, chicken isn't yeah, it and this is a heart and the lungs from the lamb that's the heart and the lungs and you have the spleen there too yeah and then spleen. that's a spleen right there the spleen was here and then we have the chicken that's the that's the gizzard. gizzard and we cut that open cleaned it out we've and got the lungs and that's the liver from the chicken, chicken. as well so wow can, look at that color oh, that's beautiful See how deep that's just like you never get that because only that's get them amazing. in bleached before you get them into sack so that's what is they it, should they, look is like is it from the bleach or is it from the feed I think it's both both it's, and then they also unbleached unbleached but then that you were saying the chlorine when they go through the mechanised yeah. process probably yeah. hits them as well yeah so wow. it's yeah it's a great way to really connect with our field to go through this and learn about the whole um, process it's awesome here cool. yeah. yeah so we're, we're all going to um, get heaps of work done as well tomorrow and and that's our uh, exchange for this beautiful meal that Marty's prepared and Hughes provided beautiful produce for and it can't get any fresher. And um, this is just such a great way for us to reconnect with where our food comes from and to really take responsibility for that connection, which is really cool. And then we've got the chicken over here. And so what are we doing with this, Marty? So again, because we want to cook it on an open flame, um, Aaron's just, Aaron's done the whole thing from killing it to, or from yeah. processing it, pulling all its feathers out, and then we butterflied it out, so we butterflied it down the backbone, um, as opposed to butting, butterflying it from down this way where you dry out the breast if you did it on, um, on this side of the, of the actual chicken, and then we can just take out these bones oh, yeah. as, as well. So that's like the clavicle, and it joins into the scapula. And then we're going to rub that basically with the same um, with the same marinade that we've got on the lamb, but we might put some lemon zest on just so. And how old are the chickens here? They're about ten weeks. So yeah. They are meat birds, but yeah. um, I run the. They've sort of fully grown now, so mm -hmm. I've petered the feed off a bit. Yep. So that they don't um, sort of come on too fast, so yes. I can take them as I need them. But yep. uh, ideally, I probably should have separated out a couple. Yeah, yeah what we were going to eat, yep. and fed them up, and they would have really bloomed. Yeah, 
So that is just awesome. But uh, yeah, no, hopefully that'll be good, mate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, looks really nice. Yeah, but you can see even now with um, the meat that we've seen in previous um, clips that we've done, because these chickens have lived on the land and they've also eaten mm. um, different products than, than what a um, caged animal would eat. The meat's a lot deeper in colour, and already the bones, yeah, so the bones are really, really hard mm. to break. Mm. Where the other bones that we've worked on before um, are really easy to break and really easy to um, yeah, there's this soft remove. And, and also because this animal's just been yeah. killed an hour ago. So yeah, so chicken, yeah. a whole lamb. It's going to feed 12 to 14 people tonight. Yeah. Nothing gets wasted. Nothing gets wasted. We've got the um, the rib cage of the um, oh, the um, lamb in the oven that we're going to make a broth from in the neck. You can see in the end. Yeah. We're cooking it on a fire <laughs> out there. It's cool as this. It's all happening. So we can do it. We can reconnect with our food supply and, and do it in a way that's humane. And um, it just takes a day. And yeah, just take, <laughs> it takes a bit of work, but we'll, we're, we're going to get it down. But you know that was that was really cool. So I'd like to thank you here for no, for thanks today. for coming. Like, and the great. work you've done already is awesome. Yeah. And like, Emmy you know. for your hospitality. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so um, we'll see you next time. Keep having fun. I know it is possible. You can do it. Ciao.